real estate staten island new york it's time for our march statistics it is a bit late this month because there were some technical difficulties but let's get right to it there was a dip in interest rates just for a little bit it came down to six percent for a short little while let's see how it affected our real estate market nationally existing home sales jumped 14 and a half percent yeah believe it or not and as of last measure, the first monthly gain in 12 months. This is according to the National Association of Realtors. They are saying that the sudden upstick in sales activity stems from contract sign toward the beginning of the year when mortgage rates dip to the low 6% range, causing a surge in home buyer activity. So let's go to Staten Island because we care about Staten Island, right? Who cares about the nationwide stats? They don't affect us at all, as you already know, based on the videos that I've done so far. New listings on Staten Island decreased by 26.7% to only 496 listings. The pending sales were down by 15.5% to only 402 pending sales. The inventory levels fell also by 17.2% and it's only 1,204 units. Prices continue to gain traction and the median sale price, guess what, increased 2.2%. And the median sale price right now is 648,800. The days on the market went up to 39.5% to a total of 103 days now. So it takes longer to sell a house. All right, no big deal. At the current sale pace, there were just 2.6 months supply of existing homes at the beginning of March. And this is far below the four to six months supply of a balanced market. The inventory remains suppressed and, uh, and the interest rates are now back up to around 7%. Let's now look at each section of Staten Island individually to see if we have any opportunities there this time. Let's go to the East Shore includes data from Arocar, Grasmere, Old Town, South Beach, Dungan Hills, Below Highland, Grand City, and Midland Beach. So year over year change, there's a minus 9.4% in new listings. There is minus 35.6% in closed sales. And the median sale price had increased by 0.1%. But in the last three months, and the median sale price in the last three months had increased by the same 0.1%. But the month supply of inventory went up by 7.4% and it is now went up from 3.6 of last year at the same time to 3.9 this year at the same time. And this is with comparing March 2022 to March 2023. That was for the East Shore. We're going to go to Gateway and Gateway includes New Dorp, Oakwood, Oakwood Beach, Oakwood Heights, Bay Terrace, Great Kills, and Eltingville. What do we have here? So the new listings, year over year changed minus 27.2%, and then the closed sales went down by almost 40%, 30, minus 34.4%. The median sale price have lowered by 0.6%. Not a huge big deal, but now last three months of first quarter of 2022, the median sale price in gateway section was 664,000. And in the first quarter of 2023 is 660,000. So there's your change in the minus 0.6%. Next on our list is Greater St. George, and let's see if there's any opportunities here. So year over year, the new listings went down. The amount of listings that are being listed are less, minus 15.6%. The year over year change 
in closed sales is more than half, minus 52.1%. And the median sale price in the first quarter of 2023 went up by 0.4%. So here we are like going a little bit of a tilted line, of a wavy line, I should say. The median sale price in the first quarter of 2022 was 537,000. And in the first quarter of 2023 is 539,000. And therefore it is your plus 0.4%. Moving on to Heartland and Heartland includes Willowbrook, Manor Heights, Bulls Head, New Springville, Heartland Village, Travis and Lateret. Year over year, new listings are being listed, reduced by 20.7%. The closed sales year over year, reduced by 29.8%. And the one year change in median sale price went up by 4.7%. And that again means we're talking about the median sale price. So the median sale price in the first quarter of 2022 was $611,000 and the first quarter of 2023 is $640,000 and hence you have your increase by 4.7%. And let's check out what's happening in the North Shore. So in the North Shore, we are including data from New Brighton, Snock Harbor, Livingston, Randall Manor, West Brighton, Port Richmond, Marner Harbor, Graniteville, Arlington, Bloomfield, and Elm Park. Well, let's see how we're doing over there. So year over year change in new listings reduced by 5.7%. The closed sales year over year reduced by 50.3% and the median sale price was reduced in the first quarter of 2023 compared to the first quarter of 2022 by minus 4.2 percent so a little bit of a reduction here as well so the median sale price in the first quarter of 2022 was 520,000 and the first quarter of 2023 is 498,000 and therefore this is your 4.2 reduction in price. So some opportunities here for you. The South Shore. The South Shore is always interesting. South Shore includes Annadale, Southeast Annadale, Arden Heights, Rossville, Woodrow, Huguenot, Princess Bay, Pleasant Plains, Charleston, Richmond Valley, and Tottenville. So let's see, year over year change in new listings New listings are being listed by 30.3% less, so a minus there. The year-over-year -year change in the closed sales are minus 53.8%, and the median sale price, look at that, can you guess? This time, we are in the minus, and it's minus 3.4%. We didn't have that in the last stats that I did for February. So the median sale price in the first quarter of 2022 was 725000 And in the first quarter of 2023, it is 700000 Hence, your reduction in price of 0.34%. A little bit of crack right here. Let's do the hills. The hills includes data from Emerson Hill, Toad Hill, Lower Toad Hill, Lighthouse Hill, Richmond Town, High Rock, Dungan Hills Colony, and Emerson Hill. Let's see what's going on over there. Year over year change in new listings. So new listings are up by 4.8%. So more homes are being listed, not by a lot, but 4.8%. And year over year change in closed sales is minus 21.7%. And the median sale price increased by 10.9%. So let's see, the median sale price in the first quarter of 2022 was 915000 
and in the first quarter of 2023 it is now 1 million 15,000 so 1015 okay so last but not least let's check out the lakes and the lakes are going to include data from Westerly Sunset Hill Sunnyside Royal Oak Silver Lake Clove Lake and Castleton Corner let's see what's going on over there year over year change in new listings minus 39.3 percent and year over year change in closed sales minus 48.4 percent and the median sale price drum roll decreased by 7.6 percent here we go some more opportunities here for you the median sale price in the first quarter of 2022 was six hundred and twenty two thousand dollars compared to the first quarter of 2023 at five hundred seventy seven five hundred there are your opportunities this is a very interesting type of stats this month be sure to check out the next real estate staten island new york state that's going to be out next month with some new data hopefully you will have better news or maybe you got good news this time around make sure to subscribe click on the notification bell and be sure to be back and i will see you next time